So hello guys, welcome to Pen Trading Testing Spirit. My name is Spirited Wolf, and today we are gonna talk about some basic Linux commands. So let's start. So our let me zoom in first. So so there are two things in Linux are that you can use GUI and second one is CLI that is your terminal by using command so um, so our first command will be pwd it will show you the directory where you are in it, it will show you the path so as you can see we are in the home directory as this one is for root and this is so now like this so now our second command will be ls it will help you to list all the contents in the directory where you, where you are in so if i just hit enter then you can see that there are a lot of stuffs here like desktops downloads spirit.deb spirit.exe websites etc so but if you go to the places and then the home folder then you will see that all these stuffs are right here as you can see desktop downloads websites spirit.deb and everything is here so now our second command will be cd and one important thing with ls you can do is if you give a ls command and then if you give just a minus a then it will show you everything your hidden files also as you can see we can now see everything now let's check there also home folder and if you go to the edit oops, view and show hidden files then you will see everything is here so this is really good so our next command will be clear c l e a r it will help you to clear the terminal but everything will go up like this as you can see everything nothing is showing there but if you scroll up then you will see that everything is scrolled up so now our next command will be cd now give a ls so there is a desktop so let's move to the desktop and one important thing for the terminal is that it is case sensitive if your folder or any file using any capital letter then you have to use that letter too like capital D E S K T O P and if I just write D E S K or D E S then if I just press tab button then it will automatically enhance all the letters so just hit enter so now as you can see we are in the desktop so just give ls command so as you can see there are a lot of stuffs right here and if you will see that everything is here oops like there black diamond pen test with spirit vpn book and everything here so so <coughs> And our next command will be cd space two times full stop. It will help you to go one directory back. Like if you press cd space two times full stop and hit enter, then you will see that we are now in the home directory, one directory back. Now just give up pwd right here and you will see that. Now we are in the home directory. So our next command will be remove. remove. So 
um, let give a ls button. Right so now let's re let's try to remove this one spirit dot exe. Now if I just type rm and space spirit dot exe, then if I just hit enter and then just do ls command then you will see it's not here it's deleted now so this is very interesting thing that it will delete in just couple of seconds so so our next command will be cp for copying so if i just press cp and um, let's select anyone like this image G D and now we have to give the path where you want to save it or move it so just give a front slash and then just give right root slash desktop and just hit enter and when you will go when you will give a ls command and when you will go to the desktop and hit enter and just pwd you will see that we are on the desktop and if you give a ls button then you will see that that image is right here and you can also see from here right here so now let's clear it again so so our next command will be move it will help you to move the file folder anything so if I just type MV for moving and um, let's move spirit.jpg this time and if I just press type spirit.jpg and just give a root and just hit enter so now if I, you go one directory back and give ls button you will see that that image is right here spirit.jpg and you can see that there is nothing when we scroll up so just clear it again so now let's talk about some process status so if i just give if i just write the ps then it will show me the processes that that we are using that our pc is using that our linux is using so it will not show you everything but if you type ps minus and capital a and hit enter then you will see that it, it will show you everything the processes that you are using so it's really a good one just clear it again and one important thing that you can interesting thing actually that you can do with the Linux is that if you just press the up button then you will see that the commands that we used in the past we can see them just scroll up you can see we can see everything we can check every command that we have used so so now let's talk about some basic things in the Kali Linux so if I just type CD and the front slash then it will give go to the root directory now just give a pwd you can see we are in the root directory now just give a ls and you will see that there are a lot of stuffs right here and if you go to the places and the computer then you will see that everything file system everything is right here bin everything so now let's talk about these folders too because that's really very important so bin let's talk about bin bin stands for the binary or the executable it is the home of the most of the essential system most of the files in bin with an end string appends to their 
names this indicates that they are executable files just open it and you can see that these are the executable file so go back so uh, let's talk about it dev also um, dev the files dev are known as the device drivers and these are used to access system devices and the resources such as hard drives memory and the modems etc like you can see that there are a lot of storage cpu and cd rom drive and everything just go back and our next turn is etc so etc contains a number of system configuration files this includes the passwords and all other things that so if i just open it and you will see that there are a lot of stuffs and there are some programs that we have installed and it's right here like apache 2 service and everything so just go back again so our next one is has been so it's right here so as when is used to store essential system that will use the same administrator that will be used by the same administrator so if you just open it then you will see that these all our stuffs can be used by the administrator like a shutdown or anything so our next command next folder is home so home contains the user home directory for example the home used to like like um c in windows we call the home directory is c so or the documents also so our next one is lib library and this folder contain the shared library images and everything it contains almost a shared data like this so um and for and www and here you can install your labs setups and etc so this is pretty cool so now let's talk about other things like how you will you can see that if i just type ls and clear it ls so you can see that there are uh, some files that you want to know how to use or how to install or how to extract this with the linux command so let's try to extract it like now just type unzip and the file name vpn book and just hit enter so and just give ls so as you can see we have extracted all the vpn book files so so now just so now let's try to extract the tar also so just give tar space minus xvf and the file name and just hit enter so you will see that it will start extracting and just clear it and just give ls so you will see that a new folder it automatically makes a new folder black time suits and if you go to this folder then you will see that everything is here so go back again clear ls so now our next part our next uh, command will be how you can install the deb package in your any linux so for this you need to just write 
you need to write one command here. The D P K G space minus I and G N O M E and just hit enter. It will automatically install and extract your D E B packages. So just wait. So it's done. So where if you will copy this and just paste it right here and just hit enter then it will automatically opens this genomic week tool so as you can see it opens so now you can change so and one important thing that you can do is um genomic week tool and if you just type the end sign here and just hit enter then it will open in the backend so if you just write here clear you will see that we can use this also and this also so now let's let me give you let's talk about the last command so then that is mkdir it will help you to make a new directory so just type any name like um, K A L I Cal and just hit enter so ls you can see that we have made a new folder Kali and there is nothing like that so if you go to the Kali and ls and pwd you can see we are in the Kali so As you can see we have done a lot of stuff right here so so thanks for watching guys and keep watching pen trading testing with spirit and please hit subscribe button and like and please comment if you like it thanks guys